Welcome to another edition of Get Victory. I'm Ed Crenshaw, pastor of Victory Church, Philadelphia, and we're honored that you have joined us for this moment of encouragement. Hi, my name is Jason Eckel, and I'm the executive pastor at Victory Church with a word of encouragement for today. Have you ever made plans for something? Well, that's an easy question, right? Obviously, we all have made plans for something. But especially in this time, chances are that those plans have changed. And maybe the best plans, they seem to be the best plans at the start, have really not been the greatest plans, especially with all the changes that are going on. As executive pastor, a major part of my job is to make plans. And in everything we do at Victory Church, we want to do it with excellence. So we try to make the best plans every time. In fact, I don't think there's a person out there who doesn't make plans not thinking that it's the best thing at the time. We want to make plans. We want to make good plans. So what is the best plan? Well, the Bible gives us some great insight on that in Proverbs chapter 16. I'm going to read Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3. It's very simple. The, the, the verse says, Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. The best plans are plans committed to the Lord. And, and so we start out with a plan. We start making a plan. And we say, Lord, it is your plan. And I think that's, quote, unquote, the easy part. Because after that, it gets tough. Because after that, there's some action required and some things that we've got to do. And I think sometimes when we commit our plans to the Lord, we kind of fall into one of two categories. Sometimes we commit our plans, and I'm guilty of this. Sometimes we commit our plans to the Lord, and we go ahead and we say, Lord, it's your plan. And then we go ahead and we make all the details. We, we, we line everything up. We make sure everything's here and there. And we do all the things that are necessary to make that good plan. And then when, when it's, because it's God's plan, God says, hey, look, I want you to do it this way. But you say, oh, no, this is how we planned it. This is how I planned it. This is the way I want to do it. And we're too rigid to change those plans. And I think when we commit our plans to the Lord, we have to, there's, we have to understand that it's His plan. So sometimes I think we can fall into a category. When we make plans, we commit them to the Lord. They're still just our plans anyway because we just do what we want to do, even though we've said verbally we commit it to the Lord. I think a second time uh, way that we can get uh, those actions kind of confused after we commit something to the Lord or plans to the Lord is that we commit it to the Lord. We say, Lord, it's yours. Make it happen, Lord. And then we walk away. Right? We commit it to the Lord, and we say, okay, Lord, it is your plan. You're going to make it happen. And then we don't follow up with any action. Or we don't even make any attempt to try to, try to do something, right? or try to work hard at something. And I think that there's got to be a balance to the best plan. Right? The best plans have a balance between trusting God and working hard. Right? The best plans trust God like everything depends on Him, while working like everything depends on us. The best plans are committed to the Lord, with the balance of that action. See, I, it's so difficult in this time to, to have a plan and actually you see to fruition because things are changing so rapidly. But we, we have to understand and trust that God is in control even when our plans change. And by committing our plans to the Lord, I, I, I believe that that's the best way that we can ensure that it is going to be God's plan and we will succeed in whatever God has for us through those plans that are committed to Him. Again, it's a balance. It's a balance between trusting God and working hard. Let me pray for us. Lord, I thank you so much that you've given us the ability to plan and, and, and the will to, to do great for you in your kingdom, Lord Jesus. I just thank you, Lord, for the plans that you've given us, Lord, and the plans that you've directed us, or the mission that we have as a church, and the mission that, that everyone watching has in their life and, and, and the things that you've put in, in front of them, Lord. We just pray right now for blessings on those plans, Lord. We pray that all the plans that we have be committed to you, Lord Jesus, truly and honestly, that we would to, to trust in you for those things, Lord, to, for the details, Lord, but we would work hard at the same time, Lord Jesus. Help us to work for you, Lord Jesus. We love you and we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. I trust this word has been a source of strength and comfort. During this trying time, our church is bringing you these words every day, Tuesday through Saturday. Also, you can join us online for interactive live stream services throughout the day and evening on Sundays starting at 9 a.m. and then on Monday at 7 p.m. You can find the links to all the online resources to stay connected as God's family at getvictory.net. Until next time, let's stay in God's presence and peace.